Shalom. I want to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweshai, Bahashem, Raka Kudash. Double honors goes out to the other apostles of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth. Also, I want to acknowledge all the Akiyam who are pushing this truth with sincerity, all right? <coughs> Throughout the four corners of the earth, sh um, Shalom to all you uh, faithful Akiyam. Uh, Spirit, I've been wanting to do this chapter just because it's a, it's a good chapter, it's powerful. It explains, um, there's a lot of meat on, in this chapter. So it's a John 17, verse 1. All right, it reads, These words spake Yahweh Shai and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the honor is come. Glorify thy son that thy son also may glorify thee, as thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. See, so, Yahweh Shai, oh, so lucky I don't have it pulled up. Yahweh Shai is, uh, in verse two, he tells you that it's not for everybody, this truth. Because he says, as thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. See? So the, how many, the, the ones that Yahweh gave Yahweh Shai are the Israelites, okay? And not all the Israelites, the elect. Okay? Starting out with the prophets. So let's go to a, a quick precept. We're staying John 6, 37. It says, this is Yahweh Shai's words, All that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. So John 6, 37 shows you that he's going to cast out certain people. All right? Verse 38, For I came down from heaven not to do mine own will, <clears throat> but to the will of him that sent me. All right, so nothing is, is uh, done because of our own wills. It's because of what Yahweh, the power of Israel, his true will, that's what's gonna be done. No matter what we do, we're just doing his, we're just doing his will. And Yahweh Shai knew that and he said, hey, you know, He's not coming in on his own terms, but on the will of Yahweh that sent him. You know, let me get it real quick. Proverbs 20 and 24, I think. Man's goings are of Yahweh by Shem Shai. How can a man then understand his own way? All right. And then uh, King David said, he directeth thy steps. Let me see if I can find that one. <coughs> it says, Proverbs 3 and 6 In all thy ways acknowledge him And he shall direct thy paths See So Yahweh He's the one who directs our paths A man's goings are of the Lord So we go in John 17 And go back to Verse 3 But anyway this, this chapter Just these few verses I read Proves that you know salvation is not for everyone, and Yahweh Shai did not come for everyone. <clears throat> Verse three, and this eternal and this life eternal that that might know thee, that they might know thee, the only true power, Yahweh, and Yahweh Shai, whom thou hast sent. All right. 
So you got to believe in Yahweh Shai, all right? And we have to believe in Yahweh. The faith. Verse 4, I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou hast, which thou gavest me to do. See? He knew he was about to, about to be uh, crucified, you know? And um, let's see. And it was, he was crucified for his testimony of his true knowledge. He wasn't crucified because he's going around um, doing what these modern Christians are doing, you know? Coming in the name of J Jesus Christ. And this is Yahweh Shai, not no damn Jesus Christ, you know? Through the Spirit, you know, you're able to receive it or not receive it. And that's why we're reading the, script, the Scripture, because we're reading about how it's not for everybody. He said in verse 2, um, let me, or actually, what was it? Verse 2, as thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. So he hasn't given everybody to Yahweh Shai. That's why... You see all the madness still going in Babylon till the destruction comes. Verse 5. And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. See? See, because when Yahweh Shai was saying this, he was still in the flesh. But then he knew he was going to get his spiritual body. That's why he's able to, to he came as a lamb. And then he, he's going to leave, and he's going to come back as a lion. All right, meaning fierce, war, anger, fury, destruction, you know. But when he came as a lamb, you know, one of the reasons why uh, the lamb was a, parable for Yahweh Shai was because he willingly took the sacrifice you know because like I always say and you know I learned this from Elder Gabar when you kill a lamb they just take it they just they just they don't cry out nothing but on the contrast if you kill a goat they're screaming like a travailing woman you know goat will scream you know bloody murder but a, a lamb will just a sheep or a lamb whatever you want to call it they just they just take to death that's one of the reasons why it's a, a parable you know but anyway here we're at a <coughs> we're verse um, let me see verse 6 Oh, this is a powerful verse right here. It says, I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. So he said, Yahweh Shai is saying, he's, he's given the name, meaning he's manifested. Manifested means show, to show. All right, so he showed the men that, that Yahweh gave Yahweh Shai, he's given them the name and then through the spirit and the power you know through the holy scriptures we're able to you know understand and come into remembrance and it's like a love letter man you, you it's like a le letter you wrote yourself like hundreds of you know no not I won't say hundreds it's like you write yourself a letter or a note like I don't know like when you're 15 and then you leave it alone in a drawer and you, and you go and, and you read the letter you wrote when you were 15 now you're you're 50 you know and now you like you like you start to come into remembrance you're like oh, okay yeah I remember this man you read the letter you know that's the same thing the scriptures is you know because think about it through the regeneration you know our forefathers were writing these scriptures and now here we are you know 
and, and some of our forefathers are back, the ones who wrote these scriptures, out here preaching on the streets through reincarnation, regeneration. It's another lesson, but these are the men who get the name. Each time, we're, um, we always have the name. So you can't let nobody tell you that we don't have the name. His name is not God. God is a title. It's not a name. His name is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh meaning he exists. Yahweh Shai meaning he saves, he delivers. All right, let me see in Hebrew. This is verse 7. Now they have known that all things whatsoever thou hast given me are of thee. So we know, we understand that, hey, it's all Yahweh has given Yahweh Shai and us and his men. He's the one who's given us this faith and this understanding of these holy scriptures. <clears throat> Verse 8. For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me, and they have received them, and have known surely that I came out from thee, and they have believed that thou didst send me. See, so that says what it says, man. He's, we've believed the words. The men of the Lord are going to believe the words of these holy scriptures. You know, we're going to believe the, the slavery part. We're going to believe that we're in captivity. We're going to believe because we're cursed. We're going to believe that, you know, um, the Latin, Hispanic tribe, Native American tribes, we're going to believe they came in the, um, in the Assyrian captivity. Because why? Because it says that in the Bible. It says we took the journey, you know. We're going to believe all those things. That's what, when he says, I, I've given them... Um, Yo, well, let me read it again. Let me read it again. I don't want to mess it up. Verse 8. For I have given unto them the words which thou gavest me. See, he's, Yahweh Shai has given us the words, which is literally the scripture, the understanding. In Revelation 5, it tells you how he breaks the, he loosens the seals. He's the only one worthy to loosen the seals, which give us the understanding. All right? It's like a scroll. If you loosen the seal, well, now you can read the scroll and understand it, you know? But if you can't loosen a, a seal on a scroll, then how you can't get the understanding, you know? But Yahweh Shai was found worthy to get that, all right? So let's go to verse 9. This is a, another verse that proves that he's not worried about the whole damn world and he didn't come for everybody, all right? This is verse... Nine, I pray for them. And he's still talking about his men, right? Did we not just read about the men which thou hast, which Yahweh gavest him? Meaning, gavest Yahweh Shai? Let me read it. I pray for them. I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me. For they are thine, and all mine are thine, and thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. Because why? We're glorifying. Yahweh Shai now, when we go out and teach, when we go and chat out through the Spirit and we're able to discern the spirits and, and tell the people, you know, what nation they are according to the Bible, you know, all these things, man. That's how we glorify in the truth, man, because why? We're honoring Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai in truth, coming in the sp same spirit that Yahweh Shai came in, you know, over 2,000 years ago, you know close to 3,000 years ago, you know? We're coming in that same spirit as Yahweh Shai. That's why he said, I pray for them. I pray not for the world, which is the world is in the spirit of Jesus Christ. You see? But the ones that were given to Yahweh Shai by Yahweh are in a different spirit. We're not on that Jesus Christ vibration. You know? Let's see, verse 10. Oh, no, I read that. Let's see. Verse 11. And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world. And I, could, I come to thee, Holy Father, keep through thine own name, whose whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are. See? Meaning, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, are one because they're... He can, he, he's, he's on the same doctrine. He's on the same truth as Yahweh. He's the, the words... Yahweh gave Yahweh Shai. 
and then he gave them to his men, his Israelite men. So there are 144,000 prophets, and some are in the spirit world right now, but some are out here prophesying in the, in the spirit of Yahweh Shai, you know? So that's what this is, man. It's a great, great awakening because we have the truth. And we have the truth. John 17 is, is telling you, Yahweh Shai has men that he's dealing with. Yahweh and Yahweh Shai are, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's about the men in this truth. Verse 12. While I was with them in the world, I kept them in thy name. Those that thou gavest me I have kept, and none of them is lost, but the son of perdition that the scripture might be fulfilled, all right? And um, that son of perdition is referring to Judas Iscariot, all right? It's not Esau in this verse, you know? But because remember, it's talking about the men of the Lord. So at one point, Judas, he, he received part of this knowledge, you know? Let me see. Let me if I see if I can find that. Oh, wait. Let's see. Hopefully I can. Yeah, man, I always forget where I see, I see it a few times and I always forget I need to start documenting this verse but it basically says that Judas obtained part of the truth maybe it's in uh, let me see let me see if, but anyway I'm not gonna I, I'm at the plantation I gotta get through this lesson but we'll go back to John 17 but Judas Iscariot he received part of this truth man then he let it go he went back to the world you know, he, he, he sold out for the bag, for the money. 17 and... Um, let's go to 13. It says, And now come I to thee, and these things I speak in the world, that they may, might have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them thy word, and the world hath hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. So our spirits really aren't for this world, you know. The men who are teaching, the men of the Lord, the elect, we are the hopeful elect. But you know what I mean? Our spirits are, we're, we're not, we know that's why a lot of times when you get in the truth, you're not going to click with the people of the world, man. Because they're going to be wanting to talk about the NBA playoffs and you, you know, really, in the, that's how it shows you how powerful this truth is, man. I was a fanatic, a sports fanatic. Basketball, football, boxing, you know. And and I, I just fell off, man. I, you know what I mean? I'll still watch fights, you know. But really, I, I don't watch too many sports. Rarely that I watch a, a, a game. If I try to, I usually, you know, won't watch the whole thing. But... That's just a personal testimony, you know? But uh, let's see. And really, we're not, we shouldn't be in that mindset anyways, you know what I mean? We're, we should be more in the mindset where, man, this is an opportunity I have to go do a lesson or read a little bit. You know, that way I can uh, stay in the spirit, you know? Grow. Sharpen that sword, you know? But the world going to hate us because, you know, now we're on this vibration of Yahweh Shai. The, the majority hates that vibration, you know? There's a lot of reasons for it, you know? Um, let me see. Verse 15. Let me see. I'm almost gonna, done here. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. And the word evil is bad times. So we're going to be delivered. You know, if we're part of that elect, you're going to be delivered in a, a so-called UFO. A chariot is going to pick you up. If you're, you know, if you, if you test your spirit, are you able to repent? Are you able to receive uh, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai? You know, and the truth. Are you can you can you do it? Can you can you swallow 
Swallow it, it's gonna be sweet in your mouth and it's gonna be bitter in your stomach, man. When you first get in the truth, it's sweet to know you're an Israelite. It's sweet to know that the good news, the gospel is for the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. But now you gotta deal with all the bitter, you know? The bitter comes with, like we're saying, you separate from the world. And when you really truly separate from the world, and especially spiritually, these people, you know, they start to hate you, like it says here. You know, verse 15, no, I'm sorry, verse 16, they are not of the world even as I am not of the world, all right, we're not of the world, brothers, we're not of this world, we're part of the elect win of this world, that's why we don't, you know, mix with this world well, you know, that's why everybody else is walking around, you know, in darkness and slumber, not thinking about really what's going on out here, man. Verse 19, I'm gonna stop here, this is the last one. And for their sakes I sanctify myself that they might also might be sanctified through the truth. See? So he's like, for their sakes, I'm Yahweh Shai sanctified, meaning he was perfect, he was clean, clean. The sins, you know, he he was able to walk uprightly man and uh we that's what we gotta do man we're like y'all was shy man just you know coming back with just being this in this flesh again and reincarnated and now in these last days just you know growing in the spirit repenting teaching Feeding the sheep, you know? This is what it's about now, man. And that's how we be sanctified. That's how we cleanse ourselves of our iniquities is, is by learning this truth, man. You know, learning it and doing it to the best of our ability. So with that, I want to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak, Radash. Double honors goes out to the elder apostles of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth. Also, one of God's other Akia, I'm pushing this truth with sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth, alright? Shalom to the elect.